what's up? Welcome to the video. You're looking good. I like your hair. You're bald, you say? Well, I like your your head. It looks really, uh, it's shiny today. Okay. Nope, that's not gonna work. What's up? Welcome to the video. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. It's raining where I am today. It's raining a lot lately. I don't know why, but it's maybe, maybe it's because I'm so sad. I don't know. What's up? Welcome to the video. Hope you're doing well out there, wherever you are in the world. Maybe you live on a houseboat. It's kind of... You're on the water. What? Doesn't make any sense. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the video. I got something for you today. Uh, I'm gonna rob you. <laughs> okay, no. Let's go. Get it together. <clears throat> What's up? Welcome to the video. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing swell wherever you are. In this video, I'm going to show you the best, most efficient way to grab colors from a photo in Affinity Photo. So let's get started. So I got this beautiful picture here of this nice beach, maybe somewhere tropical, definitely not where I'm from. And what I would normally do, I'm going to move this photo up a little bit. I would grab some circles or some squares to start sampling colors. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go over to my tools here and grab my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw out some squares. So let's see. I got one, and I'm just going to duplicate this a couple times just so I have, let's say, five. Let's say that. So I'm just going to duplicate this a few times here. And what I would normally do is first click on my first square here. I'm going to go up to my color picker tool in the top right corner right here. I'm going to click, hold my mouse, and drag it over. Now you can see wherever I go, there's numbers on here. These are RGB, red, green, blue. And they change as I move around because there's so many different shades in this photo. Everywhere you go, it's a different shade. So say I wanted this particular color here. I could un uh, release my mouse. And now that color has been loaded in the color picker tool in the top right corner. So now with my first square selected, if I click on the color picker again, it's going to load that color in there. Next, I'm going to go to the next square. Back to my color picker tool, click, drag, find another color, maybe this, release my mouse, it's been loaded, and then I can load that color in there, and I'll just do it one more time to show you. Clicking on the third box, color picker tool, click, drag, I can find, say, this color, it's been loaded, click it, and now I have those colors uh, sampled. But here's another way to do it. Let's go back, let's go back to the future, or let's just go back. Uh, now I'm going to shrink my photo down a little bit here. I'm just going to click on the photo and just so I can see the whole thing. Now here's a cool little thing you can do. With the photo selected, you can go up to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Colors, and Veronoi. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Probably not. But if I click on this, my photo is going to change to this cool kind of mosaic where it's sampling all the colors or a bunch of the colors from the photo so I don't have to kind of do guesswork with the mouse. Now, I have this window down here to change the cell size where I can bring in less or more depending on what I'm doing. You can see it's just kind of like a mosaic of the actual photo. And this is non-destructive. This is a live filter layer. So say I wanted to do this and I was worried about damaging the photo. Well, I can just go over here and turn this off in the layers panel and the photo comes back because it's non-destructive. And because it's non-destructive, I can click on it again and I can change it whenever I want. So let's say I was happy with this. Now I have all these colors laid out. I can click on my first box, grab the color picker, click, drag it over. I'm going to grab this blue first. That's been loaded. I'm going to go to the next box. And I'm going to grab, say, this orange. And then I'll go to the next one. So now basically I have all the shades laid out. And I can kind of see it in a better format to pick sort of what I'm looking for as I'm going through all these shades. So I'm just going to finish this here. Let's grab uh, this. Uh, let's grab this one. And let's grab one more, maybe a purpley type one like this. I don't know, maybe another blue over here. See, I like, because I can see this all laid out. So now you can use those colors to make something cool, all sampled from a photo that you like. So that's the video. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you want to join the membership down below, five bucks a month brings my ego way, way, way high. My wife tells me to stop and I say, I'm not going to stop. I got a new member in the, on my computer. Okay, I don't know. Uh, anyways, if you like the video, you know, do what those YouTubers say. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you in the next one.